In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install WeZoom for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, all you want to do is go to your search bar, and you want to search up mod Wind like so, and enter. Here you'll find modwinf.com, just click on modwinf, and then you'll be on the modwinf homepage. From there, you want to go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to mods. Now, you want to go to search mods, and you want to search up we zoom like so. Here you'll find we zoom here, just click on the mod's name, and it will bring you to this page here. So, all you want to do is go to versions, then you want to select game versions, and you want to choose what Minecraft Java version you want to play. I am going to choose the latest one here. And from there, you will see that you might have Fabric or, or on all the versions Forge and NeoForge. So basically, just make sure this Fabric will be using Fabric for today's tutorial. And also, make sure this is the correct version that you chose. And if it is, click Download. And now, what you want to do is go to the mod's version name. And then you want to scroll down and then you'll find dependencies here. So here, we need Fabric API as it's required, so just click on the little button here. And just like before, go to versions. Then go to game versions and choose what Minecraft Java version you want to play. Make sure it matches with WeZoom and like so. And there, just make sure this is your version. It will be for Fabric and just click the green download button. And now you have WeZoom and Fabric API on your computer. So what you need now is, well, fabric. And to get fabric, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up fabric Minecraft, like so. Here you just enter, and here you'll find fabricmc.net, just click on fabric, and then you'll be on the fabric homepage. From there, you want, to you want to go to the blue download button here, and then you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And now you have fabric as well. So you have fabric installer, fabric API, and WeZoom. So from there, once you have all the files, you can minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close it. And from there, you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here, you can go to the fabric installer here. And from there, once you double clicked it, you will see that we have a little fabric installer window. Here for the Minecraft version, just make sure this is the same version as Fabric API and WeZoom. Like so. And if it matches, just do install. Okay and close. And now you have Fabric. So to go ahead and use Fabric, you want to go to your Minecraft launcher here. This is how we open up Minecraft Java. And from there, you'll be able to add the two mods to the mods folder. So here we have Fabric Loader here. And all you want to do is go to Installations here. Then you want to go to Fabric Loader here. And then you have to go to the folder icon. Here, you'll find this little dot .minecraft folder here. Just go to Mods, which is right here. Double click the folder, once you're in mods, go to downloads, select the two mods and copy them, then go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder, and click paste. And now you have Fabric API and WeZoom in .minecraft mods. So now go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so basically, once you have Minecraft here, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world. It works all the same. And basically, all we want to do is, once we are in our world here, we want to go ahead and try out WeZoom. So to do this, you want to first go to your, basically, keybinds to make sure everything works right for you. So just go to Escape, Options, Controls, you have keybinds, and you have to go to the bottom. This is where the mods are. And here we have WeZoom here. WeZoom, it says V, so the V key. If you are using something already, it will be red. So just make sure this is like something that you can use or something comfortable. And if it is, you can just go to your game again. And if we click V, it will just work, right? So this is our zoom here, which lets us zoom into Minecraft. But with WeZoom, we can also do something else, which is just clicking V and then using the scroll wheel. So basically, the scroll wheel is just meant to just change your inventory bar like this. But 
with basically we zoom we can just zoom and let's say that we have a flower that we want to look at here for example here we have our dandelion over there and it is quite far away right it's that far away with the default zoom you can see it a bit better but we can do two things here we can zoom out like so that is like normal vision basically and if we zoom in with our scroll wheel you will notice that we can go really far so this flower here is basically in the middle of our screen and quite of a big project here is a massive right it's like big compared to what it actually is in actual gameplay right this always resets so if you zoom into the flower and you remove v and you do this again it will reset so this is something that you have to do all the time but as you can see it really zooms in and the flower itself if we walk to it it is quite far away this was half of a screen by the way so if we go here this is the flower in question and it basically took half of a screen if we are right next to it and do v not only is half of a screen but here we basically have all of our screen with a flower so yeah that is the idea with we zoom it's just a little minecraft zooming mod and yeah works great so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one Bye.